Hello, uh, I'm Sky. I'm a cybersecurity professional. I have worked in the industry for over 12 years. I currently work full time at a telecommunications company in the discovery team. My work there focuses predominantly on using data to identify unknown business risks. Outside of my day job, I am a blogger, I volunteer with Australian Women in Security Network, and I am also an independent consultant. I actually see that um, cybersecurity and technology as a general, as a central hub that touches on a bunch of different industries. Um, so, for example, I like to think of this an analogy as um, us driving. Like when we go drive, everyone knows the road rules and how to kind of protect ourselves when we're driving on the roads to avoid accidents. So what are the things we need to do on our computers to make sure that we have the basic protection? So put on seat belts, and that could be we have antivirus software um, on our computers and we, we make sure that that's updated and we make sure that, um, you know, um, you know, if you take your car to get a checkup, we need to make sure that the operating system on our computers are up to date. I did an information systems degree. Um, and in my final year, I took an elective subject that was focused on organizational information security. And I took a real interest in one of the components in that subject. Um, that was digital forensics. Once I graduated, I got a job working in the data center at Victoria Police, um, just processing police reports uh, and waited for the right opportunity. My plan was to work there, meet different people and get more understanding around um, what the computer crime squad was like and how would I actually join that team as a civilian if I wanted to. Um, so five months later, by chance, I came across a job advertisement and I, I applied. I went in to the interview armed with all these theoretical knowledge um, and I made it very clear that, look, I, I don't actually have any hands-on experience, um, but I was able to convince the interview panel that I had the um, aptitude to learn, so I had the right mindset and they really liked um, my thinking process and really liked how I communicated. When I was at uni, I went in to speak to my career advisor, one of the career advisors that um, I wanted to work for law enforcement in digital forensics. Uh, what are the things that, that you suggest? And his words were, oh, look, it's a very, very male dominated industry. You should probably reconsider. Um, but that was, I think, I'm one of those people that when you tell me no without what I believe to be perceive to be a valid reason, I kind of just go, you know what, I'm going to do it. I've always been a very curious person. So um, being able to break down problems and figure out how things happen um, has been really exciting for me, not just when I was working in digital forensics, but also these days when I'm working with data, um, the idea is the same. You have a problem and how do you break it down? I do a lot of jigsaw puzzling and um, I I use Lego. It's I, I play with Lego. It's like a, um, it's quite therapeutic for me because I actually see a lot of similarities between putting together a jigsaw puzzle and what I'm trying to do right now. So that's kind of, um, a break for me and and that and that keeps me keeps me motivated as well because i find that when i go into that kind of meditative state i'm getting ideas as well for me the three core skills we need in cybersecurity are um, critical thinking problem solving and communication skills um, but I will add on to that, the fourth one would be a um, good understanding of technology and an ability to learn hands-on. A lot of skills are very transferable. Um, some of our colleagues are former, um, they have an arts background. Um, but they all bring different 
aspects to to an industry that touches on all these different things, a different point of view, and that and that kind of um, diversity and diversity of thinking um, is essential to make cybersecurity relevant for everyone. I don't really see cybersecurity as a I guess as its own discipline in the future I actually see people doing like at school um, doing um, double degrees but doing cybersecurity and medicine so you are a doc you're a medical professional but you're also very aware in the technology field so when you are um, working as a doctor and you're working with these new advanced technology devices that are medical devices that are also connected to the internet or um, lawyers who are who have a law degree but they're also a qualified cybersecurity person so when they go to court and we have new laws and legislations in place to cover all these new kind of technologies and problems that come with it um, they can actually they actually understand um, what's going on and how to I guess write these laws and write the policies and um, talk about these problems in court. My number one advice would be um, try to get as much hands-on experience as you can and join to a um, industry group, either a local group or um, a nationwide group that that will allow you to be connected to people that are already in the industry or peers that are also trying to get into the industry. So you can kind of band together and form your little groups and set up um, your own events so that you can learn from each other. There's actually a lot of resources um, available on LinkedIn. groups that people can join and then there are jobs that are posted there. I've, I've interviewed quite a lot of students that um, you can just tell when they have that drive and they're very curious and they're, and they're self-starters and they're self-motivated. Um, so even though they may not have had the working opportunity, um, but they've taken the effort to teach themselves um, however they can to get as much knowledge as possible.